There we yeah. go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Hook Up Hints with Scott and Mig. Migsy, today, mate, we are chatting lamb-based trophy fish. Oh, lamb-based trophy fish. So, big snapper off the rocks. And we're going to take you a few areas as well as rigs and just sort of the rough setup of what you're looking to do. So we're talking predominantly rock fishing here and you're going to need a good ledge with some good current and one you can fish at all tides, mate. That's it. So you don't want to be fishing where there's a rock just under the water in front of you. You want to have a nice area where you can be fishing and the fish aren't going to bust you off on any underwater rocks and weed. Alright, so you got your good spot. Now it's about trying to find these fish. First things first, get some burley in the water. Can't really stress that enough. When you're land based fishing, you've got to bring those fish around. You're not targeting big schools of fish, you're targeting these individual big fish and they're going to be responding to the burley. So if your burley's consistent and it's going throughout the session, when a big one comes past, we'll have a sniff, come on in and hopefully have a crack at your bait. That's it. We run them in onion sacks and then just a rope off the rocks. So, and like Scott said, just keep that consistent. And even with a few chunk, a few pilchards and bits of squid up, throw that out there, keeps them excited as well. So the rig is fairly simple. It's not something you have to get too carried away with. Simple bit of trace, hook, swivel, tie it on, fire it out there. That's it, because it's essentially stray lining off the rocks with unweighted baits. So that's our ideal setup. We're not using any sinkers, we're keeping it up off the bottom, making those baits look as natural as possible. And a lot of these big fish are going to get caught right below your feet there. So you don't have to fire the baits out too far away, so you don't need sinkers like we said. Just keep the baits nice and close and around that burly zone. So Migs just wired that one up with a, uh, what have we got Migs, 60 pound tough trace? Yep, that was actually 80, oh, but 80 between pound, yep. 80 or 60 pound tough trace, nice heavy trace, so if you do get in around some rocks, then you've got some good abrasion resistance there. And then a nice big KLT hook from Black Magic, so that rolls nicely into the corner of the fish's mouth, so a good solid hook set. And then if you get into those weeds, and there's a lot of weeds around where you're going to be fishing here, around the rocks, uh, a single hook, in particular a circle or recurve hook, should just pull through the weeds a lot, ni a lot nicer than a J hook, so you get fewer snags, so that's important as well. And just tied on the other end there with a swivel. Yep, swivel. So that's a 15 kilo swivel and uni knots for all our connections. Now there's a few options when you're fishing off the bricks. Uh, you can use overhead setups, but our um, preferential setup by far would have to be the spin with a bait feeder or bait runner style reel and a nice solid rock fishing rod, which this exactly is here. So the difference between your standard boat rod and a rock fishing rod is that these have a lot of grunt so you can pull those fish's head out, heads out of the weeds. So length's important in the rod. You need to be able to get that fish's head up, turn it around, get it away from all those bombies and rocks and get it back to the ledge you're fishing on. As we say, it's basically stray lining off the rocks. So it's a simple setup. You rig up a pilchard, you rig up a big flip, fresh bit of kahawai. Any type Dang. of bait that you target a big snapper with on the boat, you can target them with off the rock. So these reels are awesome because it gives you the ability to cast out away from the rocks, so it gives you plenty of time with your bait in the water. And it's also got that bait feeder option at the rear, which means if you've got a nice big bit of bait on, then it can, your fish can run away with it, typical stray line style. And then once you think it's swallowed it, you can flick it into gear, and then hold on, and bang, you're in. Yee! It's a long rod. It's a long rod. It's a frickin' grunty though, so yeah, like we say, turn that fish's head around. That main line, a minimum of 15 kilo, but we'll, we'll, we run 20 kilo on some of our combos as well for the rocks. Yep, and we've even caught some fish, uh, some guy fishing with us. I think he's running 37 kilo game fishing line. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you go as heavy as you like. That's yeah. it. There's some big fish around. That's it. And as we all know, rock fishing can be a bit dangerous, so make sure you take the appropriate safety steps to ensure you don't end up in the drink. And if for some reason you do end up in the drink, it does pay to have some sort of a life vest or a life jacket. So these are a bum bag life jacket, really awesome for on the rocks. Flick it around, chuck it on, real slim line, doesn't get in the way. You've still got your whole upper body for casting, but it just sits there and you know that if you need it, you can pull the rippy and you've got a life jacket around your waist. So that's our basic system for targeting big trophy fish off the bricks, and in particular snapper. So go out there and give it a crack, get yourself some good hardware, decent equipment, be safe, and more importantly, catch some big fish. Yeah, 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 this is a good run. This is a good run. Going up tight. Yeah. Little stonker. Stonker? Yeah, stonker. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Get him up, Scotty. Yeah. Okay, Mick's coming close. Yeah. Oh, he's going under that rock. Got it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yo, yeah, oh, he's the beast. He's, he's a good the beast. Ace. Yes! Yeah, boy. Holy <laughs> we got him! <laughs> we might have got him! We might have got him! Oh, 
He's 20, Mick. Do we give him away? Oh, he's a beast, though. I don't care if he's 20. He's made my day. <laughs> 